Welcome back. Uh, as I think probably most people in the country know by now, uh, certainly most pro-lifers, you wouldn't know it from the media, we'll talk about that in a minute, but um, a man named James Pullion, pro-lifer in Owasso, uh, Michigan, was shot and murdered by, shot and killed by a, what I would call a pro-choice activist up there. Mm -hmm. Drove by, didn't like his sign apparently, and uh, shot and killed him on the street. And here's a man in his mid-60s, had leg braces on, had, had had some physical problems, uh, breathing through a oxygen tank at the time, and this scumbag drives by and shoots and kills him. And, um, you know, I think this story, if, if anything I ever saw exhibited what the media in this country is about, this story did. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And what little coverage it's got, I've got this story here in the Detroit, from the Detroit News about it. This heading, murdered anti-abortion activist provoking until the end. This whole story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, remember when Tiller was shot, okay. right? Now, all we heard was here was a father and grandfather murdered oh. in front of all of his friends in the vestibule of his church. Right. And this guy was like some sort of hero and, and not the scumbag. And they didn't mention all the scumbag things he did. They, you never saw a story that mentioned... Uh, 65,000 children. Or killing a 15-year-old uh, girl with Down syndrome from Texas. Uh, never saw any of that. He was just this hero, and it was the front page news for three or four nights after it happened. Um, Mr. Pullian gets killed. Nothing. Nothing. ABC didn't cover it. CBS didn't cover it. NBC didn't cover it. Um, even Fox gave it very little coverage, very little coverage. And, they, and there was no call for the uh, federal government stepping in and sending out FBI agents and guards uh, yes. to protect the pro-life. We're going to talk about that very thing here in a minute. But first, I just want to bring in very quickly um, uh, Jim's, uh, James Pullian's daughter. Uh, Mary Jo has agreed to be with us. Uh, hello, Mary Jo. How are you? Hello. I'm doing okay. Um, listen, I really appreciate you, you being with us um, a little bit. I, you know, the, the, story, the, the way the media has, um, has carried, covered this story in the very little amount of coverage they have given it is despicable. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is absolutely indefensible the way they've handled this. What has been your reaction, Mary Jo, to seeing how the media has basically attacked your father and basically said, well, he kind of got what he was, he kind of got what was coming to him. He shouldn't have been out there. Um, holding, that sign. holding signs and, and protesting abortion and how has that affected uh, you and the rest of your family? Um, well, personally I think it's kind of ridiculous too that people say things like that. I mean, last time I checked this was the United States of America and people have a right to peacefully protest whatever they want. Um, and so you know, the family is doing okay. We're drawing on the strength of God, you know, rejoicing with my dad that he was welcomed into heaven. And as far as the media goes, like, it's kind of crazy because locally it has gotten some attention and we're not used to that. But nationally, I know compared to Tiller that it was really nothing. And it's kind of sad in a way that, you know, to see how one-sided America really is on issues right. and how all these people that preach tolerance of other people's opinions are really not tolerant at all. You know something, Mary Jo, if your father had been out there um, protesting in favor of gay rights, every school child in America today would know him, his name and his story completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I'll bet you right now, if you went around this country and you asked uh, everybody in the country, every man, woman, child in the country, have you ever heard of a pro-life activist being shot and killed because of his pro-life activity? I bet you 98% would say, I never heard of that. Mm -hmm. When did that yeah. happen? That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. The pro-life community knows. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mary Jo, and, and you know, I'm proud to count Jim as a friend of mine. And uh, he would call all the time and say, this is Jim from Michigan. You know, Jim. Right. You, you, it was always Jim from Michigan. And that's how I knew when you mm -hmm. when you told because I didn't know who it was at first. Right. And then you said that was Jim from Michigan. Yeah, as soon as you said that, then 
the pro and of all days, really, I, I mean, I, I was flying uh, when I heard the news, well, I, and I landed in Washington, D.C., and, and all of a sudden, my phone turned my phone on, there's nine messages. Right. And that never happens. And I thought, oh, my goodness, what happened? It's 9-11. And, uh, of course, that's how I got the news. And you, both of you, were one of the first people to, to call. But I want to tell you, Mary Jo, not only was Jim a good friend of mine, but we're going to make sure that, uh, that people know the name of Jim, Jim from Michigan, that he hasn't died in vain, that, uh, that his message uh, is our message, the message of life and compassion. You know, George Tiller was killed inside of a church. They said this is a holy sanctuary. Oh, yeah, like but, the Pro Boards are real holy. Yeah. They're really concerned about the sanctuary of the church. Yeah. But, anyway. but Jim was killed in front of a, a, a school where he had just dropped off his granddaughter, and the sign he was holding was, it just said one word, life, on top, and a picture of a postnatal baby, a, a baby about three or four weeks old. And his message is the message of the pro-life movement, one of hope and inspiration and, 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 tr and caring for the lives of innocent children. He stood for the innocent. And in, in reality, his work epitomizes the work of Life Dynamics and, and, and all of us in the pro-life pro movement. So I just want to say how much I appreciate your dad and, uh, and what he has uh, stood for, and, and he will not have died in vain. No. Amen. And, and Mary Jo, I, yeah. I want to say personally, too, and I think I'm saying this for a lot of pro-life people because we recognize it. You don't know who the Mahdi is until after they're killed. That's right. You know, you don't mm -hmm. know who that Mahdi is. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and uh, your dad, Pacifically, was uh, um, one of those people that's all on the street, harassed a lot. Uh, we heard that he got beat up a couple of times, ran over by a car. He Police was harassing him. People threw urine at him. And a lot of those things you don't know about, but people that's been out on the street, they go through that. He must have been effective. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and this reminds me so much of the difference between when Princess Di died and there was all that's going on and Mother Teresa dies and just yeah. a little... Say, yeah, that, yeah, that's... that's it, 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 yeah. Disagree. And, and you and I have talked about that before. Yeah. And, Mother Teresa and, and, and Princess Diana died on the same weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the news coverage, you wouldn't have known that Mother Teresa ever lived. Mm -hmm. Right. But this other woman whose only real accomplishment in life was that she married well. I mean, mm -hmm. other than that, what did she do? Right. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you still got people mourning over her. It, it's it's <laughs> unbelievable the the yeah. the yeah. idiocy of this of this yeah. of this culture that we live in today. Well, one thing. Uh, um, uh, he has become the first martyr for the pro-life. Well, movement. actually, that's not really true. Mm -hmm. There were actually some pro-lifers killed. Uh, one pro-lifer in Alabama, a pro-life preacher, uh, and, and I think his name yes. was Blackburn or something like that, many, many years ago, long before the first abortionist was shot. But he doesn't count. He doesn't count. It only counts if you kill babies. You're the only. That's yeah. what. That's who counts. And um, well, Jim didn't live to please man, and he's not getting the accolades of man. Right. But he lived to please God, and that's where he is now. Yes. Well, Mary Jo, we certainly appreciate your, your coming on at this time and, and just know that we're all praying for you and have been praying for you since this, this horrible thing happened. And we're sure sorry for your loss. Certainly. Yes, thank you very much. We, and we appreciate your programming, too, and I enjoy it very much. And I plan on continuing giving it to the local ch channel. So yeah, we know your dad. Will know. We know your dad was watched every month, and he was instrumental in getting Life Talk put on the cable access system up there. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to have to pick up that now for us. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Okay. Well, Mary Jo, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye bye.